What's up everybody, Stanky here, and this is how to sim using raid bots and why you should or shouldn't do it. Today, beginner-friendly rundown of all the important sim options they offer and different ways to use them in order to maximize your damage, speed up your gear farm, and answer the great vaults age-old question, what should I pick? What is best? While this video is aimed at enhancement shamans, it works for literally any DPS. So why you should or shouldn't sim? Starting off, if you're a very casual player, simming is really not needed at all. It's meant as a tool for players that want to optimize their character's gear. But if you're pushing any type of content, I greatly recommend learning the basics of simming, as it is a great way to know what gear to farm, how big of an upgrade something is, and it allows you to make less feel-crafted and more educated gearing decisions, which I will cover in this video. Starting off at raid bots, you have four choices. We will focus on top gear and drop optimizer for this. In drop optimizer, you can check where your biggest upgrades drop. In top gear, you can check which of your gear setups, enchant or gem combos gives you the most DPS. Quick sim is just what it sounds like, gives you your estimated sim DPS and damage breakdown, which can be useful to cross reference with your own damage breakdown using, for example, details. And advanced sim is something I've never needed to use but it is used for customized and more advanced sims. So, choosing Droptimizer, for example, there's two ways to get your character's information into raid bots. You can sim it with your gear, your build, etc, etc. So, either by typing out your name and select Realm, or by using an add-on called SimC, linked in the description below. With this add-on, you can prompt in-game by typing slash SimC, and then you want to copy the wall of text and paste it into this window. Now, I recommend the add-on as it's faster and more accurate and it counts pieces of gear you have in your bags as well. Plus, you can do more with it. And once you've loaded up your character in Raidbot's Droptimizer, you can see several different choices. By clicking Mythic Plus Dungeons, it lets you choose which dungeon and what key level you want to sim. And if you subscribe to them, you can sim all dungeons at once, which saves a lot of time. So, for example, using this, I'd take all dungeons at M plus 10 and sim against my character to see if any 655 items are an upgrade. And for the sake of this video, I equipped a god awful green neck. So, according to the sim, getting the Cinderbrew neck at 655 would be an 81k DPS upgrade, which I dare say I'm fine with. But you can also click in upgrade to up to 665 to check the best upgrades once they're max upgraded. And you can even add and upgrade all equipped items to 665. That way you'll see what is better at an equal item level. You can even sim Great Vault level loot and see which 678 Mythic Plus item is the biggest upgrade and then cry every week it doesn't show up in the vault. Swapping over to Droptimizer Raid, you can sim all difficulties and just like with M plus sims, you can choose if you want to sim the raid drops at max eye level and upgrade your current gear to the same. And Professions Epic is great if you just want to see what to craft. However, if you want to count in embellishments to those sims, it gets a bit more complicated. But to just see which unembellished crafted item is the best, then Droptimizer is great. Now, to complicate this a little bit, let's talk simulation options. Under each sim type, be it Droptimizer, Top Gear, etc., you have simulation options. The options you want to care about is fight style, number of bosses, fight length, and sim C version. Now, the sim version should always be nice as it is the most up to date. So as a default, it's great. For fight style, you have either Patchwork, Hectic Ad Cleave, or Dungeon Slice. Patchwork showcases your max sim DPS on a fight with no movement and perfect gameplay. Hectic Ad Cleave does the same, but occasionally throws in extra targets or adds. Dungeon Slice tries to replicate a dungeon with varying success, but it gives a rough estimate of your overall dungeon damage. And we have number of bosses. One, if you want to sim single target, five if you want to sim AoE. But you can play around with it if you want to see what damage you do against 10 targets on a one minute fight. Which brings us to fight length. Really depends on what you want to know. Using a five minute sim on patch 
patchwork, for example, can make items like Eye of Kassan look pretty bad, but upping the timer to 8 minutes and it starts crushing other trinkets. So with that information, we know that on a short fight, Kazan is crap, but on a long fight, it's biz. So doing a drop optimizer at say 5 minutes and one at 8 will give you a better overview of how items perform for different type of fights. And with Top Gear, you can check things like how different builds and or gear setups perform at different fight length. But overall, how I use Drop Optimizer at the start of a season or a new character that I'm gearing is I sim both single target patchwork and five target patchwork for raid and dungeon drops. And continuously resim when I get new upgrades as your stat weights can shift dramatically which is one upgrade. Which is honestly a little overkill for enhancement shamans or stat weights and bis items does not drastically change between single target and AoE. So even just always simming 5 minute single target patchwork drop optimizer for dungeon and raids will get you 95% on the way. Moving over to top gear. So for this it checks what gear you currently have on you and in your bags. You can sim all these combinations against each other to get your current best gear setup. So if you have multiple trinkets you can easily check which is best. You can also sim different builds here to see how they stack up against each other. And as I mentioned earlier you can also sim gems and enchants. Now these are very sim heavy so unless you're subbed you kinda need to sim them one by one. I promise I'm not sponsored it's just very very convenient being subbed if you do a lot of sims. But I am willing to be sponsored. By doing this you can easily check just what you should be running for example checking enchants and it's easy to see that authority of the depths is far superior on pure single target but add in a little AoE and all of a sudden stonebound and or storm riders fear start scaling ahead. But a big thing is that you can also use top gear to sim your great vault loot. If you open your vault and then copy these simc text into raid bots, those vault options will show up under top gear so you can check which one actually is the biggest gain or just, just ask in someone's discord. Now as far as sim options goes for top gear it's the same as for drop optimizer, patchwork, hectic ad cleave etc. But a few new options pop up. Item upgrade currency, catalyst charge, and item search. Starting with item search, with this you can add items you don't have to your top gear sim. So if I just want to check how big of an upgrade one item is, I can add it into top gear and sim against all my other gear, rather than doing an entire drop optimizer sim. Or say if bracers drop with a socket, and you want to know the value of that, you can use this. With item upgrade currency and catalyst charge, it checks how many crests you have, valor stones, and catalyst charges and you can use this if you want to check for example what you should upgrade and or catalyst next. So it takes into account how much you can upgrade your gear using your current amount of crests and which upgrade nets the most damage. Same with catalyst. Now you can override this and add as many crests and catalysts as you want. This isn't something I personally use but it can for sure be handy. Lastly one thing I haven't talked about at all here is stat weights and simming for stat weights. And the reason behind behind that is simply that it's just more accurate to sim for your biggest upgrade rather than sim what your best stats are at the moment. Most classes have stats they prefer, like enhancement using haste and mastery, but how much of each or if you want to throw some crit into the mix can swing wildly depending on your other gear. Heck, one season I gemmed for crit, which was weird, but an upgrade. So sure you can sim and get your stat weights, but as soon as you upgrade one item your stat that weights will change. Point being, Drop Optimizer just flat out tells you these items are your current biggest upgrades. Get them! And yeah, that's pretty much it for this raid bot sim yourself guide. If you have any questions at all or any other easy sim yourself tips, hit me up in the comments. If you want to help support my channel, become a patron, Twitch sub, or YouTube member. You also gain access to my Discord, you can get shoutouts in videos, and it helps me out a lot. Don't forget to uh, lightly tap that notification bell. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.